Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome to Going Carnivore in Thailand. As some of you who follow this channel may know, and if you don't follow it, please hit the subscribe and button, and then after the video, decide whether you like it or not. Give me a like or a thumbs down. Either one's good feedback. Today I want to talk a little bit about Noi's situation. If you've been following the channel, you know that Noi has this problem that when she eats her meal, especially the evening meal, her blood glucose level goes into low uh, hypoglycemic state, anywhere from 45 to 65. Anything under 70 is hypoglycemic. So, today we're trying something different. I'd love to hear your comments on what my thoughts were. She has been eating like me on an intermittent fasting basis. She only eats like around noon, and then she'll eat again maybe around anywhere from 6 to 8 o'clock at night. And they're usually two rather big meals. I mean, she'll eat until she's full. So instead of that, today when we got up at 7 a.m., I asked her to eat a little something. I asked her to try to eat six very small meals. For example, one scrambled egg or a uh, a single piece of chicken with some, maybe a little bit of carbs with it. And she's been doing that today, and so far she hasn't had any episodes of hypoglycemia yet. Now, I'm recording this in the evening right before I'm going to post it. So we really don't know what's going to happen in the evening, which is when she's typically worse. But she's getting very good at understanding her, the way her body feels. Because lately, she's been able to say, I don't feel well. I think my blood glucose is low. And we'll check it, and indeed, it'll be 60, or it'll be 50, or 55. Way too low. And then she'll go and have herself a orange juice or a couple oranges. And boom! back up to 110 or 106 or 120 or 100 which is much better so the plan is what happens if she eats six small meals a day what are your thoughts is this a good idea now you know i went through that diet where you were supposed to graze all day long if you eat little teeny meals and not put a lot of food in your stomach, perhaps your blood sugar stays more stable and doesn't spike up when it sees all this tremendous amount of food it's got to digest. I don't know. I'm no doctor. All I, all I am is a YouTube researcher. So I'm putting it out there. I'm asking for comments. I'll let you know how it works out. So far, she's been sticking to it, even though we've had to put alarms on Alexa every two hours to remind her to eat. Because technically, once you go on this intermittent fasting, you aren't hungry all day long. But if you let yourself get too low on energy and then fill up the tank, sort of drive your car to the, till it gets, you know, eighth of a tank and then pull in and do a big fill up. I'm trying to get her to fill up every time it hits three quarters of a tank. We'll see what happens. Please leave me your comments below. And uh, I'll let you know how it comes out. Thanks for watching. Be safe. That's all, folks.